Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Europa Universalis 4. So in this part I'm going to declare war on Sweden, I want to take Yaroslav, let's do it. This should be an interesting war because they are allied with all of these people in the west, Bavaria, Austria, Milan, Tuscany and they rule over Bohemia. So this is going to be interesting, fortunately I do have an ally, but I'm not quite sure just how helpful that ally is going to be. I could get an extra alliance before I declare war. It would be awesome getting alliance with Bavaria actually. If I get alliance with Bavaria, will Bavaria declare war on me? Interesting question. Maybe, maybe not. Let's try. Okay, so now I'm allied with Bavaria. And if I declare war on Sweden now, are they going to join any side? Let's have a look. Yeah, they did join Sweden, so that's kind of annoying. Oh well. Not much I can do about that, I suppose. I tried. Yeah, because Sweden is in defensive war. That's why they joined them. That makes sense. Alright, so my plan right now is to just keep my armies together. Take my actual war goal, which is Yaroslav, obviously. And beat any Swedish armies that might be coming my way. Counter-revolution. Yeah, yeah. I can't do anything about that one. So I'm just going to hang around here and wait for the Swedish army to come. It's coming already. Wow, yeah, they have a lot of regiments. So, I do have pretty decent leaders, which means I'm going to make use of them. Assign this guy here and just engage them right now. I'm going to move in with everything. Like so. They are not moving. And I should be able to win that fight just fine. Yeah, I have more troops. And I have probably a better leader, to be honest. 5, 6, 4, wow, their leader is badass. 5 in fire, 6 in shock. Holy crap, I want a leader like that. Wow, I'm almost losing that fight, in fact. Okay, I might need some reinforcements there. I don't want to risk losing that fight. Come on, get there faster. I should be able to win now, but that was way too close. This is exactly why I prefer to keep my army here, deal with Sweden first. I will probably lose some of these provinces, but I'm okay with that. If I split my army in half, I would almost definitely lose this fight. Yeah, revolt, great. I might have to use my army here to actually fight instead of reduce my revolt risk. Plus 6.80 war score, that's nice. Now I need to finish these sieges ASAP. I'm almost tempted to assault Yaroslav, but I don't want to lose too much war score. As in, uh, too much manpower, I mean, not war score. Hmm. I can try to chase these guys. That's not a bad idea. Okay, nice, good event. Extra points are always useful. Hmm. I'm thinking about how exactly to handle this. Chase them. Can I catch them there? Probably not. No. Actually, yes, I can. The second army will leave on 4th February. Yeah, I'm already losing some provinces over here, but... These are acceptable losses, or... N not losses, acceptable war score loss. Right, there's no point chasing them right now. I'll just... Can I turn off force march right here? No, I can't, which is a bit annoying. I have to get back into my territory to actually turn off force march. And I don't want to take unnecessary attrition. So these guys go here, and these guys go here. Once I finish Yaroslav, I'll send my armies west. Or just get extra war score with Sweden. Minus one prestige or get improved fortifications in Marienburg. I guess that's actually kind of useful. And 50 gold is not a big deal. Wow, I'm actually losing money right now. But that's because they are sieging all of these provinces. So that kind of makes sense. But I might want to lower my maintenance. Fleet maintenance at least. That's not going to help all that much. I can raise war taxes. And then lower maintenance a bit. This is still not super helpful, but... Hmm. I might have to take some loans at this rate. Yeah, they are coming again. It's so easy to lose fights like this. But yeah, see? This is why I don't like leaving five regiments only. I'm going to lose my... Yeah, I almost lost all of my siege progress in here. And they are moving around again. I need to merge this and fast. And yeah, they are going to catch me. 
No, they won't. Yes, they will. Great. Well, that's annoying. And if I split, they are going to move in to Yaroslav instead. So this is really irritating. Yeah, I might lose that fight. Yes, I lost. Hmm. So this is not going well. I'm at 0% war score still, but that's mostly because of this. And 4 speed is a little bit too fast for a war like this. Come on, take Yaroslav already. I need to take Yaroslav ASAP, because that's my actual war goal. Yeah, I lost another fight. So this is harder than I thought it will be. How did I lose with 49 regiments? I guess I did. Now I'm moving all the way back to Kiev. These guys are running away. Split and move in. Now I should win that one. Yeah, I can't afford losing that because I would lose all of my siege progress then. Sweden would be much easier to deal with if they didn't have all of these alliances. And I'm glad I grabbed that extra defensive bonus because that's helping me right now. 42% chance to finish. Do I want to chase them? Yeah, I think so. Oh, I don't actually have military access with Muscovy. Right. Might want to get it if I plan to attack them right there. Yeah, I think I'm going to grab military access. I can afford one more relation. Oh, they won't grant me military access. Okay. Scumbag Muscovy. Come on, finish this stupid siege already. Split this and attack these five regiments. 42%. Next siege in five days. One day. There we go. Now it's not mine. No, that's core creation. I thought that was the siege. I got trolled. Come on. RNG hates me, apparently. 30 days for the next siege stage. Right, I need to break some of these sieges, but 20 regiments is definitely not enough to deal with that. Hmm. Okay, force march time. And yeah, they are trying to take their province back. Can't blame them, I suppose. But I'm not going to let that happen. Now they are running away. And I can't catch them. And I can't use force march when I'm not in my own territory. So I'll just have to... And yeah, now they are moving back. Great. And now they are using force march. I'm not sure if they are, but they will arrive before I do. They change their mind. There we go, 5%. This is still not enough to actually sign a peace deal, unfortunately. I need to get at least 10%. Probably more than that. But now I can focus on beating these guys. I need to catch this army before they move into Muscovy's territory. Come on. And I can send some troops south to deal with this situation in the west before I lose too much war score from that. Alright, I need a leader here. So, force march now and engage them. This siege is almost done. I don't need a lot of war score, I just need around 10% probably. Let's have a look. My main goal is to take Yaroslav. So, how much do I need? Peace offer value 9. Yeah, I don't need a lot. Come on. Yeah, are they moving in? Yeah, they are moving in to break that siege. Not good. I need to go back. Hmm. I could have moved out of there actually, but whatever. I'll have to deal with Ostia and Bohemia sooner or later. Wow. Yeah, they are sieging everything. But again, I can't deal with this right now. Come on. I can't lose this fight. I win, I think. Yes, they are moving out. I don't think I can get enough war score just by fighting Sweden, but I really need to deal with their armies. If I lose Yaroslav, then I'm kind of screwed because that's my war goal. I'll take administrative points. Their army is still pretty big, even though I keep beating them. It's annoying. Hmm. I can try to break some of these individual sieges, but if I get caught but a, by a bigger army, I'm going to lose, quite obviously, especially with no leader. And I also have too much infantry, uh, as in too much cavalry. I could recruit some infantry mercenaries, that's actually not a bad idea right now. 
and it makes sense in situation like this. Alright, I'm going to wait for mercenaries. I could get all the mercenaries that I can. That's actually a good idea. I can afford that. I'm not losing money anymore, so that's good to see. Come on, beat them already. Wow, I might actually lose this fight. Yeah, Sweden has awesome military leaders, which is kind of bad for me. This guy is 5 in fire, 6 in shock. So even though I have superior numbers, I might actually lose that fight. Not only that, I'm pretty sure I have better cavalry. Because I have level 28 in military and they have level 27. So I, I have access to better cavalry type. 9%. Okay, this might be enough. Great, I just dropped to 8%. Yeah, this is not enough. I need more. I need to turn off a uh, force march right now. It's off. Come on, win that fight already. I'm, I'm losing war score left and right from these sieges in the west. But again, if I split my army at the start of this war, I would have lost to the Swedish army. And then I would have probably lost this entire war. Come on, beat them already. If I lose this fight, I'm going to be upset. There we go. Okay, this might be enough. I want to finish this war. No, it's not enough. I need more. Okay. I'll get more then. But now I need to move south and handle that situation. And fast. I think I did enough damage to the Swedish army, hopefully. So let's deal with these guys. I need the leader there. So I'll grab this guy and move him here. This should be enough, hopefully. I just need to get some war score with Austria and Bohemia and that will be enough to sign a peace deal. I still got 93,000 manpower but I'm actually losing money right now. I might have to get a loan or two. I'll keep an eye on the peace offer. Nope, not enough. I need to win a few fights here and maybe get my provinces back, probably. And split this. I don't like taking attrition in my own territory, that's usually a bad idea. Come on, get there faster. At least I'm getting them to break these sieges, so that's kind of useful. They are moving out. I could use force march to engage them, which I probably should, but I'm waiting for reinforcements to get there. Oh, I forgot about this army. Okay, they can definitely help. Yeah, this war is a little bit annoying. My territory is getting a little bit too big, so if I'm at war with people in the east and people in the west, it gets hard to fight everyone at once. Okay, force march and engage these guys in Bihar. I think I'll use force march on the other armies too. I don't mind losing a little bit of military power. And it's not that expensive, you only need 2 military power per province. It's not that much. Not really a big deal. Also, my missionaries aren't doing anything. Usually a bad thing. Come on. I need a bit more than 10%. You there, move it. Well, I'm winning, quite obviously. So hopefully this will be enough. And I can't turn off, force march, great. I'm not sure why. That makes no sense. Oh well, I'll just make use of it, I suppose. Come on. Yeah, I'm losing war score now. 11%. I'm not going to go for high war score. I just need to annex Yaroslav and that's about it. That was my main goal, especially since that's my actual mission right now. It would be nice getting enough war score to get Sweden to cancel some of these deals, some of these alliances. That would be very useful for future wars. Trade efficiency, production efficiency. I think I'm getting more money from production, yes. So I'll grab production efficiency. 
I think I'll need at least 20 if I want Sweden to cancel some of their alliances. And sieging all of this territory back is going to take a while. Unfortunately. At least I'm starting to win now. Plus 5% technology cost. Yeah, I actually don't mind. I won't be spending points in any technologies anytime soon. At least not in the next 10 years. I'm still 23 years ahead of time, so not in the next 15 years at least. 18%. It's probably enough to sign a deal already. But I actually want Sweden to cancel some of their alliances. I just need to keep an eye on Yaroslav, and as long as Sweden doesn't start sieging Yaroslav back, I'm safe. If they come here with their armies and start sieging Yaroslav, then I'll have to sign a peace deal before they're done with that. But I'm going to siege all of these provinces again to take them back. That should give me some nice war score. It might take a while, but that's fine. Get these guys out of there. Split all of this, split this. Alright, looks fine. Come on. 8%? What did I lose that much war score to? I'm not quite sure. Are they blockading anything? Did I lose my fleet? Pause. Where's my fleet? No, it's still here. And Great Britain is blockading Stockholm. So that's fine. I'm not quite sure what happened that I lost 10% war score. Oh well, I'll get it back. So split again. And these guys can go here. Split these two. I don't want to split too much. Yeah, they are coming with 38 regiments. So I still need to be careful with that. I'm going to need some reinforcements there. So I'll just leave Bosnia for now. Where are they going? Yeah, I can't quite see. Way too many notifications. I think they are moving east from the looks of it. Yes, they are here. So I think it's time for forced march. If I want to get there fast before I lose that fight. And they are fighting me up here, yeah. This is exactly the reason why I don't split my armies too much most of the time. I'm going to lose this fight. Yeah, I'm definitely going to lose this fight in Pest. So even though you take a little bit of attrition, if you leave more troops than necessary, you make sure that you're not actually going to lose a fight if someone moves in. Even if I send distant regiments, I would still lose in there. I might lose this fight right now. Yeah, okay, this is not good. I need to match again. I regret doing that now. And I need to grab this army. Now I should use force march. Yeah, I didn't handle this properly, definitely not. But I need to make sure I win this fight. Wow, 61 regiments, 95? What? How did they get that many? Okay, this is getting a little bit hard. Or complicated. 95 regiments, holy crap. I'm actually going to lose that fight, I think. I need to grab all of my troops and go there. Screw these sieges. I might have to sign a peace deal soon. How's Sweden doing? No, they are not sieging Yaroslav right now. But I have several hostile sieges right now. I can see that on the outliner. I think I'll just sign a peace deal once I win this fight. This should give me some nice war score. Hopefully. And I am going to win that. With all of these extra reinforcements. There. 15%. I think I'm going to sign a peace deal right now. I should be able to annex Yaroslav. No? Wow. Okay. This is getting annoying. I still can't take Yaroslav. Hmm. And there's no deal that they will accept? Why is that? Minus 20, Sweden is making gains. Minus 17, Swedish military strength. Minus 5, Sweden holds Stockholm. Okay, so I need to beat Sweden. I need to do more damage to Sweden. I still got 44,000 manpower, so that's fine. I can't really waste too much time over here. From the looks of it. So I need to get out of here and go fight Sweden instead. I'm waiting. I'm wasting my time. So... I can't really waste my time sieging all of these provinces again. It would be nice taking them back to get war score, but as you could see, I'm losing way more war score by not fighting Sweden right now. And there are way too many armies around here for me to deal with it. Come on. More. 
43. At least I still have a fairly big army, so this should be okay. Yeah, they are moving into Yaroslav. And the new king, yeah, my ruler died. Zero stability, not great. Can I sign that deal yet? Probably not. Nope. Hmm. Relative strength of alliances, minus 18, yeah. Maybe I could get one of these guys out of this war, that would be useful. Can I get Ostia out of this war? No, apparently not. Okay. What about... Who else is in this war? Bavaria, Croatia, Milan. Okay, what about Milan? Nope, I can't. Bavaria? Seems unlikely. I would have to take some of their territory, probably. Unless I want some huge fight, which I did not. Nope. Okay, so it's time to get out of here, unfortunately. And go after Sweden. I need to get there before they take Yaroslav back. I have one more army around here. I could leave some of these troops here. But there are some fairly big stacks around. So I'm not sure if 43 regiments is going to be enough. It might not be enough. I could siege one province at a time, maybe. Or two provinces at a time, like this. That's probably the safest way to do it. But even that isn't entirely safe, honestly. Right. Come on. Move it. Wow, they have a lot of crap around here. Let's check this again. Nope, not going to happen. Actually, yes, it might happen. Clear. No, it will not happen. I need to take Yaroslav. Again, I have a mission for that, so... I will not finish this war until I take Yaroslav. It's not even no an option to go for White Peace. Absolutely not. It's a shame I can't get some of these guys out of the war. I'm not going to concede defeat, and they won't even accept White Peace, which is very annoying. Austria... Yeah, none of them will accept white peace, unfortunately. I would have to siege some of their provinces, and I'm about to lose a fight. So, this is why it was a bad idea to leave one army in the west. I should just keep one big dome stack, honestly, regardless of attrition. I know some people said it's usually a bad idea, because, but it's also a bad idea losing a war, you know? I seriously regret not keeping my entire army together at the start of this war. I should have ignored all these territories in the west. I actually lost more war score than I gained by fighting Austria, Bavaria and Bohemia. Yes, I did lose more war score than I gained. I, I'm pretty sure I would have gained more war score if I just stayed here. But I need to handle this. Once I beat the Swedish army a little bit more, I should be able to sign a peace deal just fine. But I need to get at least 20%, probably, and I need to beat their army. Now I should turn off Force March. I think it's off. Yeah, it's off. Get this guy, move to Yaroslav. I don't think I can catch them there, probably not. Let's try anyway. Come on, move it. Where are they getting so many troops from? Are they hiring a lot of mercenaries or something? This is really getting on my nerves now. Great. And I'm about to lose that fight, maybe? No, I don't think I will. 23%. This should be enough soon. I hope. Yeah, another siege is over, but that's not mine, obviously. I'm not actually sieging anything at the moment. Yeah, Tuscany is coming to help, and Bohemia is coming to help. I'll check the peace deal once I'm done with these two fights. I should have enough war score now, 25%. Okay, let's try. So, clear offer. Yes, now I can take Yaroslav. I'm not going to bother getting more war score. It would be nice getting them to cancel some of these treaties, but it's not going to happen, basically. So, I'm going to grab Yaroslav and just finish this war. So, there we go. I'm not quite sure if this was really worth it, but whatever, it's done. Now I just need to create a core. Yeah, increase scoring cost, unfortunately. 
so I'm not quite sure if that was worth it, but it's done now. Am I done with these cores yet? Yes, oh yeah, I'm already converting it to my religion. So, lower maintenance. Did I take any loans? Yes, I got one loan. Is that the first loan that I took in this entire game? I think it is, it might be. So, lower maintenance. I'll keep it at 50% or so. Alright. So, the problem with Sweden right now is that they are still allied with all of these people. So if I want to go to war with someone right now, I will end up fighting this massive alliance. Unless I go to war with Muscovy, Golden Horde or anyone similar. I could go to war with Crimea, maybe. No, they are allied with the Ottomans. Well, I can handle the Ottomans. Are the Ottomans allied with anyone big? Yes, they are. Okay, so... I think Muscovy is the only easy target that I got. Yes, Muscovy and Golden Horde. I could attack Muscovy and the Golden Horde, that's always a possibility. Oh yeah, and I can start annexing Astrakhan, I think. Can I? No, December this year. So I just need to wait a few more months. Okay, I'll wait a few more months. Yeah, I'm almost at zero manpower. But I only need... how much? Oh, I need over 100k to reinforce my armies to fall. <laughs> Yeah, I lost a lot of troops in this war, but at least I won. It wasn't exactly easy fighting against this massive alliance. I'm pretty sure their combined armies were stronger than mine. Yes, they were definitely stronger than mine. Sweden individually had something like 50% of my military strength. And then they also had Bavaria, Bohemia, Austria and so on helping them. Right, I lost one of my advisors. Level 3 guy, I don't have enough points right now. I think I'd rather grab this dude because he will give me plus 10% production efficiency and he's level 2. So, welcome aboard. Plus 2 base tax in Linz. I think that's the or Austrian province, but it's not Polish. I'll go for extra manpower then. Grodno becomes Catholic, great. That's exactly what I needed, not. So, missions. Royal Marriage with Hesse. Improve defenses. I don't think I can get Royal Marriage with Hesse. Well, actually, yes, I can. Do I want to? I'm not using all of my relations, but I'm not too excited about getting Royal Marriage with them. They are actually allied with the Ottomans and with Revolutionary France. I think I'll pass and go for the easy mission to improve my defenses, build a star fort in this province. And I can already do that right now. Right, I'm just waiting for December to start annexing Astrakhan. I think I can declare war on the Golden Horde now, yes. So I can vassalize the Golden Horde right now. And that's probably what I'm going to do next. I don't need to wait for my army to reinforce back to full strength to fight the Golden Horde, definitely not. 40 regiments will probably be enough to deal with them, or even 20. Just having a look around. I'm about to hit my diplomatic power limit, which means I could actually grab some of these diplomatic ideas, but I don't really need most of them. This one is the most useful idea in here, plus free diplomatic reputation, that would actually help me. I'm glad I still got the statesman, if I lost the statesman, annexing Astrakhan would take much longer. I'm still waiting for December to start that. How much money am I making? 82 per month. Not too bad. Could have been worse. Now I could spend some of my military power to raise my manpower. Let's see. Barracks. Uh, oh yeah, I can't get barracks anywhere. Yes, I can. In one province. So, training field. Plus 41. Okay. Yeah, I don't actually have enough money to build a lot of this. But I'll get started on at least a few. And then get barracks. I can get at least plus 70 manpower from one barrack. So, December. Come on. I'm already at plus 200 relations, so I can start annexing them as soon as I hit 14th December. That's what I'm waiting for right now. And I will declare war on the Golden Horn in just a moment. I just want to start the annexation because 
I'm pretty sure I can't start annexing them in the middle of the war. I can't be at war to do it. One more month. Convention successful, nice. I should be at 0% over extension. Wait, no, Yaroslav, right. I'm creating a core in Yaroslav. And that will take 5 more years. Yeah, the Yaroslav will take a while. I should still take this province. Because, yeah, my borders are still ugly. I should totally go after Muscovy. And I might. I'm not too excited about fighting Sweden. Because of all of their alliances. At least I don't have to fight revolutionary France. That would have been worse. Come on. There we go. Now I can start annexing this. And it will take almost 10 years. Alright. It's not like I have a big choice. So... I'm going to finish this part here and continue in next one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.